In this video, I will show you how to enable FreeSync on your Xbox Series S. So let's jump straight into it. So in order to do this, what you're going to want to do is load up your Xbox and sign in to your account. Now to go ahead and enable FreeSync, what you're going to want to do from the dashboard is come up to the top and just go into your settings. So from here, what you're going to want to do under general is go on to TV and display options. And then from here, you want to go into the advanced section and press onto video modes. So as you can see, I've currently got the FreeSync mode on, variable refresh rate. Now, in order to enable this, the first thing you're going to want to check is that the monitor or TV that you're using does support FreeSync. Now, if it does, then you can come here to turn it on. But I know sometimes on some monitors, it doesn't actually appear. Sometimes this is grayed out. So what you want to do in order to resolve this is come back to your TV and display options. And from here under advanced, you want to go on to video fidelity and overscan. So if you select this option and underneath display, you want to click onto this drop down box and make sure it's set to auto detect. So if you've previously had your Xbox plugged into a TV, chances are it's going to be selected to HDMI. But if you actually change this to auto detect, what it's going to do is detect all your, the features on your monitor. And if your monitor does have FreeSync enabled, after doing this, you can now come back into video mode and you should see now see the option to turn on FreeSync. So you just go ahead and press onto the box and change this to always on or gaming only. So that is how to go ahead and enable FreeSync on your Xbox Series S. I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if it did, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.